Hi there. Today we'll be looking at how you can set up a PayPal account and how to get it verified and also the various options that you have for withdrawing money from PayPal if you are based in Kenya. So let's get into it. The first thing is you need to set up a PayPal account. Uh, that is if you don't have one yet. And once you go to paypal.com just on the home page there is the part for sign up so you select sign up and then you choose based on the kind of account you want to open it can be a personal account that you use for personal transactions or a business account that you use to accept payments from all over the world or to send invoices to your customer so once you've chosen that you can continue to the next part and here you have to input the details of your account and also create a password now you can add more information about your business so you just click next and then you give more details whether you are an individual or a business for this particular account i'm registering as a business and so you can select what kind of, of of business it is or what kind of organization it is and then click next and add the details you also choose what kind of currency that you will be using for the account So once you've set up your account, they will uh, send you a, a link to confirm your email. So you just need to go and check your email for that link. And uh, once you find the email, you just click on confirm email to take you back to PayPal. You might need to add your password again. So the email has been confirmed, so we can continue with any other verification uh, process uh, that they may require. So here at the, on your dashboard, you'll see that you have the profile verified, the email confirmed, then they'll ask you to link a bank or a card. So far in Kenya, the only bank account that you can link as a bank is Equity Bank. They are the ones that have a partnership with PayPal for you to do direct uh, withdrawals from uh, PayPal to the bank. So for this, if you have an Equity Bank, you can link this. But if you don't, you can link in uh, your card, that is your Visa or your debit card uh, that you can use to link uh, to your PayPal. So that's what you'll be using for card withdrawals. But if you don't have any of these, uh, there is another service that you can use that I'll show you in a bit. So stick around. Um, first, we'll finish verifying the PayPal. If you go back to your email, you might see an email like this that says we need some more information from you. If you have any of that, you could go back to PayPal and see what they are asking you to provide here they say um, you cannot pay using paypal send money no money until this is confirmed so here they're asking that you upload a photo id uh, so we'll do that uh, the document type is a national id card this is either an image or a pdf since you don't have a combined PDF, you can just use a website like see here you can convert your images to PDF using this website small PDF that allows you to do so for free. So I'll find my images and 
Santai, santai. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Kita konfati itu video. Once that is ready, just download your PDF to where you want to save. You can add your identification card. Submit. So once that's done, it says they will give us information about the status of the application or the document submitted within one day. So you might need to wait for that uh, to happen for you to be able to send or receive funds or do anything even with your account. Some of this information is just to let you know that the document you submitted has is being reviewed. Sometimes it takes just a few seconds, sometimes it may take a few days. Uh, but here you see, they say your account has been restored because you provided the ID. So hopefully now you can be able to transact normally, you can be able to send funds, you can be able to receive money, you can be able to send payments, and you should be good to go. If you're having a challenge in finding that particular page, I will link in the description down below a link that you can use and you should you should see such a tab once you've logged into your account. It says verify your account info. We need you to review and update your account info information. It's quick and easy. Uh, this helps ensure that people are coming to this page and secure their contact. So by submitting your documents, you will be able to unlock uh, like the limitations. Um, it will help you remove the limitations that you might have on PayPal. Let's say limitations of sending certain amounts of cash. You'll be able to remove that limitation uh, by submitting such documents. You'll be able to withdraw cash. Uh, up to certain limits so it will also remove certain limitations for the flowing of cash so it's always good to follow these processes even even if after you followed the first process for verification use the link i've provided in the description to provide the complete um, information for businesses you'll be asked to add your personal information your business information your beneficial owner information, your executive information, and the letter of authorization to run this account. But for personal accounts, it might be much simpler. It might just be your ID, uh, your KRA pin, and the like. So make sure that you follow the link in the description uh, so that you can be able to complete your verification process. Fill each and every section uh, that is there from personal info or whatever info there is this last part where you are supposed to generate and sign your letter of authorization so you will download the letter you fill it in and then you sign it and then you come and upload it here so just use the letter of authorization and select what you have already filled and then we submit and wait for the verification uh, to be completed. They say they are reviewing your information, we'll get back to you. In some cases, it may take up to two to three business days. So we'll wait for that um, to be done. So that's about it in terms of setting up and verifying your PayPal account. So now I'm gonna show you how you can withdraw your funds from your PayPal account directly to your m -Pesa. and this is a feature that has been very helpful especially um, in the Kenyan space and for the countries that actually use m -Pesa. so how you do this is go to the website I've linked the same in the description box and then you log in using your PayPal account to set it up so you enter your account details and then you log in 
after logging in uh, it will redirect you back to the website and so here you, to link your accounts you should provide your mobile number the one that um, you use on Mbesa. Uh, one thing that you should note is the name on your PayPal should be the same as the name on your Mpesa. It should be exactly the same. So, for example, if your name is John Doe on Mpesa, it should be exactly the same on the personal information uh, as you set up your PayPal account. So, that's one thing to note if you want to use this service. And if you had already set up your PayPal account with a different name, it is possible to change the name. So sometimes you might be required to provide additional documents. So be aware of that, that the names that you set up your PayPal account with uh, should match your Mpesa name for you to be able to use this particular website. Since that is what they use for verification of, of the person. So here we'll add the number that will be used and it will send you a confirmation code on your number so that you can complete that process. And so you'll enter your confirmation code. So once uh, you've linked your PayPal to your Mpesa, uh, your account will be ready for you to transfer funds from PayPal directly to your Mpesa. And so when you are doing withdrawals, you'll come back to this website. Once you've logged in with your PayPal account, you'll specify, uh, you'll go to withdraw, specify the amount you want to withdraw, and then you confirm that transaction. And if you are transacting below 700 USD, it should be instant uh, to your Mpesa, like within a few minutes. But if you are doing a very high amounts, uh, the transaction will take about three business days. So I always recommend that you always try and do transactions that uh, have a limit of 700 USD so that you get them the, the money instantly and then after a few hours you can do another withdrawal. So that's how you can use this service to withdraw funds from your PayPal account to your Mpesa. And I hope this video was helpful. If you have any queries, you can comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you also want to engage me to assist you with such processes, uh, my contact details are down below. Be sure to like this video, share and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.